And we're now ready to begin the public hearing. Uh, Mr. Boyd, you present. Uh, My name is Randy Boyd, and I'm an uh, engineer and surveyor in the city of Fayetteville, 325 Lee Street. And I'm representing Scott Greg, who is the managing partner, uh, owner of Kenwood Farms LLC, who owns this property. This is a vacant tract of land. It's uh, four, approximately 40 acres. It's uh, on the north side of Kenwood Road. It's bordered on the west side by Thornton Lane. It's uh, currently zoned AR. And we're requesting uh, an R45 zoning change to develop a residential subdivision to approximately 22 lots. North Beth Elementary is directly across the street on the west side in Franklin Farm subdivision. To the north is a uh, beautiful 100 acre horse farm. To the east are two very nice homes of 28 and 6 acres respectively. And on the south are two subdivisions, R45 Greer Woods and R40 Best Salem Woods, which are one acre lot subdivisions. The net density of our project is approximately 1.3 acres per unit, which is consistent with the Fed County Comprehensive Plan. The staff recommended the approval of the four conditions of which we agreed to, and the Planning Commission approved it unanimously. We would request that you approve this as submitted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Boyd. Is there anyone in the uh, audience that would like to speak in favor of this petition? Seeing none, I'll ask, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this petition? Uh, if you would, one at a time, please come to the My name is Alicia Diaz. I live at 180 Thornton Lane, which is a little bit north and west of this particular property. Um, while the, uh, the gentleman has just spoken of there being a surrounding of um, developments, in fact, this piece of property is surrounded both north and south by other parcels that are AR. There is that 100-acre horse farm, which will not be usable as a horse farm if this is built. And there is uh, two large houses on the tract that takes up the rest of that corner, which is right here. Um, there's a creek bed that um, basically bisects that uh, rectangular piece of property. So you've got a 100 acre horse farm on one side and two very large houses on uh, basically 30 acres on the other side. Um, I understand that the county's policy is to do a step down in zoning, um, and I believe that it's possible to do a less dense step down than AR to R45 and still maintain the long term plan of the county uh, for increased uh, growth and development. And uh, there, I know there's a number of other arguments, but our neighbors, all of whom are here, speak to those. My name is Sean Sullivan. I also live at 180 Thornton Lane. Um, I have a map uh, pulled down earlier today from the uh, soil sample site. Um, I guess I'll display what I would call your attention to is the uh, small rectangle to the far left of both diagrams. Uh, that is Larry Whitman's property. Uh, he uh, is also with us as well in opposition. What I would then call your attention to is the spur soil sample that goes out and is abutting against the back of Larry Witness property, uh, which is a, um, was the soil type again, WH? No, WH is on the border, but the other one has the water curves and pleasant to That area actually is spongy, um, water-laden soil during any period of rain. There's an active spring head underneath in the, in the underground area. So what we're seeing here is a plat that has 22 dense lots in close proximity not only to a flood uh, area in terms of the uh, border with the creek bed, but as well to an active uh, water zone in terms of going, running down the middle of the property. Um, in terms of that, you'll note that a number of the lots in question actually overlap the zone in question, and the rest are in near direct abutment against it. From our perspective, again, for those of us who live in the neighborhood, our opposition is primarily based on the impact that this will have on a daisy chain perspective. Um, again, if Brenda uses, loses her ability to use her property as a horse farm, 
um, because of the density of this and the noise and the resulting issues that may be that may result. Um, then of course this will follow to the horse farm next door and then to the rest of us in the neighborhood. However, I would call your attention again to these soil issues because I think again something that was a little less dense might have a better beneficial impact in terms of the proximity to the water sources in the area, uh, particularly given that that spur looks like it is flowing into the creek bed in question, as well as staving off the kinds of concerns we have from a neighborhood perspective around how this is going to impact the neighborhood in the long term, hopefully allowing her to continue to use her horse farm in its current capacity instead of selling off to a, a subdivision type development. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that wish to address us? Yes, <clears throat> Susie Ferguson. I live at 410 Florida Lane at the far end. Has it is. Um, I too am concerned. Um, this is a hundred year drought. <laughs> um, the conditions you're seeing right now are not what they normally are on the, would that be the east side of the proposed road uh, behind Larry Whitman's house. So I've ridden my horse in past years back there. I had a horse that the road. And we really couldn't get through it. We sank in wet wet land. It, once we get back to normal, that's not, part of that is not going to be good, but I can imagine for septic tanks or houses. Um, the only other concern I have, and I'd love to see it with less houses, the other concern I have is that the road, the entrance to the subdivision, is being proposed to go out onto our, our dirt road, and I know they're planning on paving from the road to Kenwood Road, but what is that going to do? cars from 22 houses going out onto a little, little, little road. <laughs> How will we ever get out there with the school there right next door? It's going to be a real bottleneck. If it were going out on Kenwood, it would probably be a lot better. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alice Jones, and I live at 110 Lawson Lane. And as a representative of North Fayette Community Association, it is my request of this commissioner to uh, do an, an environmental impact study based on the petitioners uh, voicing their views and opinions about the impact of this uh, community development in the community on Kenwood Road and at the same time consider the density issue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you like to address those issues, please? <clears throat> I'll try to take them in order that they were proceeding. The first lady spoke of the horse farm that was north of there, um, and, and I'll agree with her, it's a beautiful 100 acre horse farm, but there's no, she said that if this subdivision was developed, that it could no longer be maintained as a horse farm. Uh, we will have houses, this on the north end of the project, we will have houses backing up to that, but in my opinion, um, as a registered engineer and surveyor that's been in business for 25 years, We've put many of these subdivisions up and backed up two farms. And they've continued to function as such. Uh, the creek that's back there has uh, been field located, and we have maintained the 100 foot undisturbed buffer as per county ordinance off of that, and the 50 foot building line off of that. You'll notice on there there's two uh, watershed management basins on there. They will address the water quality and the detention overflow bike protection and flood protection for the creeks. And the gentleman that had the soils map, that soils map was prepared by the University of Georgia about 30 years ago. And it was prepared from uh, samples, maybe one sample per 10 or 15 acres. Um, and it's just a general map of the area. We have a level two soils analysis if you'd like to see it. And the, the soils are conducive to accepting a septic type. And if this were approved and we were to develop the subdivision, of course, as you well know, we'd have to have an updated topographic survey, a level three soils analysis, wetness, deviation.